speak to our correspondent Sarah Morris. Sorry, Madrid. I said Barcelona. She's in Madrid. Uh, let's be uh, let's be honest about it. <laughs> Sarah, the crucial point here, of course, is uh, well, Vals uh, stands, of course, on Catalonian independence. Exactly. Uh, uh, Manuel Valls got involved in Spanish politics so on precisely that issue. He, uh, last year, uh, during that stormy period in Catalonia, uh, during the push for independence of the region, uh, Manuel Valls gave a lot of interviews on Catalan and Spanish TV. He speaks Catalan and Spanish, and he uh, came out very strongly against independence. He said that uh, an independent Catalonia would probably also mean the end of the European Union, which he says is a union of nation states. And it's precisely uh, his uh, high profile stands, even attending uh, those anti independence rallies, uh, that uh, made him really the darling of the anti independence movement. He was invited by the Liberal Citizens Party, uh, which is against independence, uh, to join them in fighting uh, the Barcelona election across party coalition, they suggested. Uh, now we'll have to wait later today, later this evening, to see uh, will the Citizens' Party uh, be on that ticket? Will also uh, members of the People's Party? And we're expecting some high-profile uh, intellectuals uh, to join that platform. But it will be Manuel Valls who unveils that later today. So, Sarah, how's his um, political appearance actually going down there um, in uh, Barcelona? Because, I mean, to us it does seem a, a little strange uh, observing it from France. Well, that's right. Ada Calau, who is the uh, sitting mayor of Barcelona, she says he doesn't live in Barcelona and the Barcelona people won't like it. Um, Ernest uh, Maragall, who is the foreign minister of Catalonia, he might be also standing for the independence ticket uh, uh, to become Barcelona mayor. He says uh, that he is simply uh, being imposed uh, from Madrid, that he is uh, being um, imposed by the forces, he says, of wealth people from Madrid. But uh, many Catalans who are against independence have told me they're absolutely delighted. They say it's about time that Catalonia got its uh, tolerant attitude back. Uh, they say it's a cosmopolitan city uh, where lots of foreigners and other Europeans already live. And they say that they think that he could do very well indeed. Sarah, thanks very much. Sarah Morris joining us uh, live there from Madrid.